So welcome to the 21 day wellness challenge with Dr. Ayo. So this video is just to pass across some information that you need for you to properly prepare for this challenge, okay? Now, this challenge is going to last for three weeks, which is 21 days. And the focus of this challenge is um, to build new LD habits. You see, when we, when we do something for a couple of times, it is called repetition. But when we do something for weeks and for months and for years, it is called habit. And it is this tiny, tiny habit that we build that forms our lifetime. Okay, It is the combination of these habits that we form that becomes our lifestyle. So if you are looking to build a healthy lifestyle, which is why everybody is here, it is not just something you build in a day. It is what you do each day that forms your habit that eventually becomes your lifestyle. So the focus of this 21-day wellness challenge is to build new LD habits, which eventually forms our LD lifestyle. And uh, there are about three to four focus, there are three to four habits that we are going to be focusing on in this 21-day wellness challenge, okay? The first one is fruit. So for each of the days in the 21 day wellness challenge, you must eat a fruit every day. No matter how little the fruit is, you must eat a fruit every day. No matter how down you are financially, I think you should be able to afford two balls of you know orange, okay, or just uh, one apple, okay. But you must eat fruit every day. If you go back to the story of creation, for those of us that are religious, um, the first man and woman, uh, the first man and woman that was created on earth we're eating fruits more, okay? Because that is what our body needs more, okay? So we need, we need fruits every time. And I've come across a couple of people, a couple of patients who had, you know, similar experience. They noticed that, you know, during fasting period, during Ramadan and during Lenten period, while they are fasting, they noticed that some of the problems that they have health-wise always subside, always go down. You know, their blood pressure is normalized. They sleep very well. So they, they find it, you know, somehow strange that the you know it is during the time when they are not eating, when they are fasting, that their health issues should even aggravate. But that is when their health issue is going down. But they notice that immediately after the fast fasting period is over, Ramadan is over, Lenten period is over, some of these illnesses, some of these sicknesses comes back again. So the reason is that a lot of them break their fast with fruits, which we are supposed to be eating every day. But immediately the fasting period is over. They stopped eating fruits. So that's how, you know, medicinal and how healthy eating fruit is. So one of the core, you know, activities in this challenge is to build a habit of we eating fruits every single day. So you must eat a fruit every single day for the next 21 days once the challenge starts. And for, so for, for those who are diabetic, who might be concerned about eating fruits, let me just tell you straight away, fruit is not the cause of your diabetes. Fruits can't cause your diabetes, okay? Fruit is not the cause of diabetes. We all know what is, you know, what leads to diabetes, okay? Most of the things that lead to diabetes are processed foods. So fruit is not the cause. Moreover, we understand that we have certain, you know, sugar content in um, the fruit, which is fructose. So, uh, but as well as the same way we have this sugar content, it's the same way God has also provided fiber, fiber content into these fruits. So the fiber in your fruit is not going to allow the sugar in the fruit to, you know, go into your bloodstream very quickly to spike your blood sugar. So that is why when you are eating fruit, you should eat them in their natural state. Don't blend your fruit because once you blend your fruit or you juice your fruit, you will have reduced the fiber content. You will have pulverized the fiber content, okay? As well, do not overeat your fruits, okay? Eat them in average quantity, minimal quantity. Don't finish a whole pineapple. Don't finish a whole purple, okay? Eat them in minimal quantity and um, do not eat overripe fruit. All right. And if you are diabetic as well, you can also mix your fruit with um, nuts. So you can eat your fruit with granite or peanuts or cashew nuts or almond nuts or whatever nuts. So you can eat your banana with granite. You can eat um, apple with granite. You can also eat garden egg and all of this fruit with um, nuts. I don't, I'm not sure if garden egg is actually a fruit, okay? <laughs> but you can mix your fruit with nuts or seeds. All right, so the first thing we'll be focusing on is ensuring that we eat fruit every single day, okay? All right, so the second one is our daily water intake. So for the for the 21 days wellness challenge, each day, you must take enough water every single day. The thing is that our body needs about 10 glasses of water every day. However, our body can extract about two glasses of water from the food we eat every day. So 
uh, we are the one who is expected to balance up the remaining eight glasses. We need 10 glasses of water, but from the food we eat, our body can extract up to two glasses of water. So we need to balance uh, the remaining eight glasses by drinking clean water every single day. So your body is fulfilling its own end of the bargain by providing two glasses of water from the food we take every day. And it is expecting you to also provide the remaining eight glasses. But in most cases, you don't do that. Some of us eat food and we take drinks. Some of us don't even finish one bottle of water in a whole day. So it's going to bring down your health in a way that you will not like. Okay. So in this challenge, you must drink enough water that's required by your body weight daily. If you look at the screen right here on the right hand side, you see a table that you know allocates water intake for each body weight. So if you are 45 kg weight, you will take at, at least 1.9 liters of water. If you are 50 kg, you must take at least 2.1 liters of water. If you are 55 kg, you must take at least 2.3 liters of water. If you are 60 kg, you must take at least 2.5 liters of water every day. If you are 65 kg, you must take at least 2.7 liters. If you are 70 kg, you must take at least 2.9 liters. If you are 75 kg, you must take at least 3.2. If you are 80 kg, you must take at least 3.5. If you are 85 kg, you must take at least 3.7. If you are 90 kg, you must take at least um, 3.9 liters of water. If you are 95 kg, you must take at least 4.1 liters of water. If you are 100 kg, you must take at least 4.3 liters of water every single day. Okay? So you can take a screenshot of that to add it so that you know the criteria. Okay? As well, you can also, you know, you, you should actually have a container that you use to measure your water intake. You can have a container that has, you know, this liter measurement on it, on it so that you can know exactly the amount of water you're taking every day because it's something you must measure because it is a goal. You don't just wing it. You just take water and you feel as if you've taken enough. No, it must be properly measured for the next 21 days, okay? And most of this, your water will be taken between 6 a.m. and 3 p.m. Don't take so much water after 3 p.m. because it can affect you, it can affect your sleep, by keeping you, you know, waking up frequently to urinate at night, okay? So once you wake up in the morning, first thing in the morning, before you take anything, you take a glass of warm water, okay? A glass of warm water, and then you take the rest before 3 p.m. So you can take it, you can take your water uh, eight times. You don't necessarily have to take a cup of water, so much, so large quantity of water at the go, no. You take them in bits, you break them down, take them gradually, gradually throughout the day between 6 a.m., and 3 p.m. Okay, as well, um, you can also um, get what we call Celtic salt or pink Himalayan salt. Celtic salt or pink Himalayan salt. If you get that, you can just take a pinch and add it to your water every day. Add it to the bottle of water which contains the water requirement for your for your for your day, and you take it with just a pinch. You can also add cucumber. You can add just two or three slices of cucumber into the um uh, container of water. Or you add um you know some slices of watermelon into the bottle of water, or you squeeze half lemon or one whole lemon into that bottle of water and you take throughout the day. Okay. So the first one, the first habit you are going to be building is ensuring that we eat a fruit every day. The second one is also ensuring we are taking enough water based on our body weight. All right. Now the third one is what we call the mental reset. Mental reset. So it, we are building a habit of mental reset towards positivity. And we're going to be using what we call gratitude journal. It's a process called gratitude journaling. Okay, see, there are so much, so much, so very much um, negative things happening around the world right now. Around you, this is everything. If I ask you to pull out a book and write out negative things happening, the complaints you have about life, you fill up a 60 leave within maybe <laughs> two hours. Okay, so so many negatives are happening around there. Even bad news even travel faster. In fact, negative things eat our mind way faster than positive things, and they have much more effect on our on our health. Okay, and this negativity has actually kept a lot of us, you know, in what we call a mental cage, and this has killed your positivity, and even it has even killed your healing ability, the ability for your body to heal itself. It has killed that. So negativity is something we have to actually draw away from. Now, in this challenge, in this 21-day wellness challenge, we're not going to just, we're not just we're not going to be, you know, uh leaving that to chance. No. We we are going to be getting a new book. You get a new journal or a new exercise book or a new jota that is not going to be used for any other thing apart from this. Okay. And then 
every night for the 21 days, every night before you sleep, last thing you do at night before you sleep, you express yourself in this journal by writing five things that stood out for you that day. Five things, five happenings, five events, you know, that you are grateful for for that day. So you forget about, you know, what didn't go well that day. Forget about what annoyed you that day. Forget about what made you sad for that day. Forget about the disappointment. You are only writing happenings and events that you are grateful for each day inside that book. You know, even, even amidst the disappointment, amidst the sadness, amidst the setback, there's usually something to be grateful for if you actually look thoroughly. So you're going to be writing down at least five things that you're grateful for inside that journal every night for the next 21 days once this challenge starts. Okay. See, there are things you want on earth. There are things you are looking for. There are things you are praying for on earth that you can only get through endurance. There are some other things that are looking for on earth that you can only get through forgiveness. You need to forgive some people and you need some people to forgive you as well. That's just it. That's spirituality. And there are certain things you are looking for on earth that you can only get through charity. Giving alms, giving zakat, and all of this. Why there are a lot of things, so many things that are looking for right now, praying for, working hard for, that you can only get through gratitude. Gratitude is the key to a lot of things you are looking for. Even when it comes to your health. Okay? And the, the things that we are usually not grateful enough, we tend to forget the things that we have while we are looking for the things that we want. So one of the benefits of this gratitude journaling is that it helps you fix your mind to the positivities, okay? And uh, when you are extremely positive, your belief and your faith will be reinforced. And with this, you will find almost everything easy to achieve, even your health goals. You want certain area of health to improve, this is definitely going to help you. So if you look at the right side of the screen, you see a format. So in the book, you open a page every day. So this is how you write it. You write as if you're writing a letter to your creator. So the first thing you're going to write is that date, the dates for that day uh, on the far left side. And the next thing is you're going to write, uh, you know, introduction or salutation, like we call it. Dear, if you call your God, a God, a dear God, if you call him a creator, you can say dear creator. If you call him a little Mary, if you call him universe, whatever, dear God. And then you start with this sentence. Now the day is over. Because you're writing, this journal is going to be the last thing you write that night. After writing this journal, the next thing you do is sleep. So now the day is over, and then you write down things you are grateful for. Now the day is over. Today was this. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for this happening to me. I'm grateful for this happening to me. I'm grateful for this happening for me. Well, whatever. At least five. Then you think and think and think of all the positive things that happened to you today. Think of the things that you had that helped you you know, you know, achieve the things you had that day. So you write uh, all of those things. And then at the end, you conclude with yours faithfully. Then under yours faithfully, you write your name and then you write your designation and then you sign. Your designation is going to be given to you yourself, whatever you feel you are to your creator. You can say uh, your dearest son, your recovered son your dearest daughter, your beloved son, whatever. So you give yourself a designation and then signature. So you can take a screenshot of this right now. So this is how you'll be writing. So for each day, so the next day as well, you write, you follow this format as well, the dates, the salutation. Now the day is over and the things you are grateful for that day in conclusion, okay? So every single day you have to do this. Yes, it's very, very important. At the end of the 21 days, you're going to be seeing an amazing improvement in your mindset, in your confidence, in your faith, in your health generally. So this is also going to help you reset, you know, your body mentally. For those who have um, mental health issues, depression, some of them are already thinking of committing suicide, or so people are already thinking of giving up on their health or giving up in one area of their life or whatever. This is also going to help dramatically. You'll be, you'll be glad you did this, okay? Remember, this is a challenge. You're going to be in a challenge. We are challenging you to do things you will not be doing before. And you have to do it for the next 21 days. You're not going to be skipping any days. It could be difficult. It could be challenging. That's why it's a challenge. It's definitely going to be challenging. Some days you might almost even forget to do this. So this journal should be kept by your by your bed. Because the last thing you write at night. Sometimes you will have slept off. And then remember during your sleep, like not written your journal, you have to wake up and quickly go and do it. You must do it every single night. Okay? Yes. All right. Then others, then um, I'll be sending a compilation video of exercises that you can do because every single day 
you must engage in the exercise. It's not how tough, how difficult, or how long the exercise is. Remember, the focus of the challenge is to help you build a habit. You want to do, have a habit of doing exercise every day. No matter how simple the exercise is, no matter how short the exercise is, okay? You want to have a habit of doing exercise, even if it's just 10 minutes, even if it's just 5 minutes, having a, uh, that habit of doing exercise every single day. So I'll send you a compilation video on the group of an exercise you can engage in regularly at home every single day. As well, you must also be in your bed by 9 p.m. every day. You must be in bed by 9 p.m. every day. And by 9 p.m., you must have shut off your lights, no phones, no laptops, no television. Okay, so if you are in bed by nine and you've not fallen asleep, at, you've not fallen asleep yet, just remain there till the sleep comes. You want it to be at at rest by nine p.m. Okay, no reading. You're not reading your Bible at night. You're not reading any book. You are done for the day. What you have left is to rest. So by nine, you should have finished up everything you want to do for the next twenty-one days, waiting for sleep nine p.m. every day, and then you'll be eating your normal meal each day, eating your regular LD normal meal every day. And then for accountability purpose, you'll be sending pictures of your activities to the group. You want to eat a fruit, the fruit you want to eat for each day, you take a picture of it, you send it to the group. You can also take a picture of you uh, going through exercise, okay? You can take a picture, just evidence every day. And as well, we'll be sending you a form for you to fill, you know, regularly to get your reports, to get your status report, to get, you know, feedback from you for, for the next 21 days, Okay. I think the um the form will be in every three three days, so you are going to be filling seven of that. Okay, so you send your picture for accountability and also to motivate others. There are people who might think it is not possible. There are people who started it and at one point they are feeling unmotivated. When they see others, when they see you doing it, you know their motivation comes back and you have indirectly helped them also, you know, work better to get the result which they want to get. Okay, all right. So these are basically. You know what you need to know for now. Any other information will be passed across in the group. Okay. So I wish you a great success in this um challenge. I'll also be with you. I'm also doing this, I'm also participating in this. So we are in in this together. So I'll see you in the group. Okay.